Kia ora koutou, welcome to Face to Face. We have with us this week homelessness expert Dr Kate Amore. Welcome Kate. Thank you for having me. So obviously there's been a lot of talk about homelessness lately uh, and a lot of people talking about there being 41,000 people homeless in New Zealand and some people have questioned those statistics so we thought we'd get in the expert to talk those through. Of course uh, Kate is uh, an expert in homelessness but in her spare time uh, is actually a doctor in ED at Palmerston North. It's probably not your spare time, that's probably your main thing, isn't it? Yeah. 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 <laughs> anyway, so uh, homelessness, Kate. Firstly, the overall figure, uh, 41,000, is that on the rise? Yes. Yes, up from? Uh, about 34,000 in 2006. Yep. And about 28,000 in 2001. So the, the rate is, um, it's, growing at an increasing rate. Right, okay. Now, of course, 41,000 people, that is almost one in 100. Uh, so that, that's an incredible number of people, a number of Kiwis to be considered homeless. They're, they're clearly not all on the streets, are they? No. no. Most of those people are sharing, um, they're living in someone else's house, but we only count those living in uh, living with others, they have to be poor and they have to be living in a severely crowded house, which means there's two bedrooms missing. So there's at least one or two families living in a lounge room or garage and that's the only, they're the only, we only count the extra people. We don't count the people who are origin, who are, you know, hosts. Right, okay, so if, you, if you've got someone living in your lounge, you're not considered homeless, mm -mm. Uh, but the people living in your lounge are. Yeah, because we need to plan housing for those people you know that, Absolutely. that's we're trying to count people who lack access to minimally adequate housing which is we say a basic rental so there's no point just counting the people on the street because we we need to make policy for all the people who are lacking housing. sure right? sure but those people do have a roof over their head so what I mean what are the negative impacts of living in someone's lounge or someone's garage uh, well you know we know that there's huge risks of crowding to people's physical health, yeah. um, close contact infectious diseases, you know, like rheumatic fever, which is supposed to be a government priority. Household crowding is the main driver for that. And um, really the only reason we have rheumatic fever in New Zealand, which basically doesn't exist in other developed countries, is because we have high rates of household crowding. Okay, so they're not, uh, they're not out on the street, but they are definitely suffering, uh, you know, they are definitely suffering worse, you know, their, their, their health is worse than, than people living in what you consider adequate housing. Yeah, yeah. and unless you consider living in a lounge room for the rest of your life an adequate housing situation, we have to, we have to plan, you know, better housing for those people. So Absolutely. we need to yep. count them and know about them. Yeah, so that's roughly two thirds, about 28,000 of the 41,000 total. Uh, people in that situation. So who else have we got uh, on this list? Well, there's about 4,000 living on the streets or in cars or other mobile dwellings. Right, so that's actually what we would consider, what, what everyone would agree, uh, definitely homeless, living in a car, living on the street. Yeah, and obviously, you know, they're, they're suffering. Uh, that, that's, that's pretty clear. That number's rising as well? Uh, yeah, yeah. It has since 2001, definitely since 2001. Risen, risen a lot since 2001, yeah. So, and so that uh, still uh, gets us a, a big group in the middle. Uh, so who, who are those people in the middle? Uh, most of them are living in camping grounds or boarding houses. Right. And a small number, of the, a small number about 600, uh, in the sector that the government relies on to you know, the emergency housing sector, so that's, you know, Salvation Army and night shelters that the, you know, the government relies on to house all of these people. They can only accommodate such a, a very small percentage of all the people who need housing. Right, okay, so actually the vast majority of people that need emergency, what we'd consider emergency housing, are living in camping grounds. Yeah, camping grounds and boarding houses and motels and people's lounge rooms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, Obviously, camping grounds, very nice uh, on a summer holiday, not so great in the middle of winter. Yeah, uh, um, there's housing quality issues, obviously, living in a, in a caravan. No insulation, often you have to go outside to go to the toilet, which sounds fine, but as a, you know, as a permanent living situation, particularly for older people, is 
you know, not quite fine. Um, and people have basically no tenancy rights in, in caravan parks, camping grounds, so they often get kicked out when the tourists come in. Yeah. Okay, so there you have it, folks. 41,000 people in New Zealand considered homeless. Roughly two-thirds, 28,000 of those are uh, living in very crowded circumstances in lounge and garages. Uh, we've got uh, a, another group uh, living in uh, camping grounds and, and to other unacceptable accommodation, boarding houses. Boarding houses, houses. About 8,000. About 8,000. Uh, and uh, a, a very a tiny group, about 600, uh, in, the, in what the government talks about emergency shelter. And that final group, 4,000 of what we'd actually, uh, we'd all agree, definitely are homeless. So that makes up that 41,000 figure. So there's the figures, folks. Make up your own mind on what you consider homeless. Let's get on and do something about it, okay? Mm -hmm. Yep. Thanks for watching that right till the end. If you'd like to stay in touch with what we do here at the Morgan Foundation, click here or visit us at morganfoundation.org.nz. Ideas to action.